All right, so today we're going to be replacing a camshaft position sensor in a 2003 Nissan Altima 3.5 liter. So basically, the car has been having a, a rough time starting up and it died on my wife like once or twice. So I pulled the code and it came up a Bank 2 camshaft position sensor. So if you look at the car sideways here, um, bank two is going to be closer to the front of the car or the radiator, whereas bank one is going to be closer to the firewall. So bank two, closer to the radiator. So the first thing we're going to do here is take off the engine cover. There is um, four Allen bolts. There's two in the front and there's two in the back so I already got these loosened up so this should pop right off and the reason we're doing this is it's just gonna give us a little more room to work with so the sensor is gonna be right here by your right next to your upper radiator hose so you can see it right here it has a electrical connection with a green tab on it and one 10 millimeter bolt so it looks pretty simple um, the first thing we're going to do here is take off that electrical connection so I got the electrical connection off all you have to do is press down on this green tab here until you hear it clicks and it pulls right out so pretty simple so the next thing we're going to do here is take off this 10 millimeter bolt I'm going to use a wrench just because it's a little tight for a socket so we're gonna take off this bolt and then the sensor should pull right out got the old sensor out um, came out pretty easy I had to jiggle it a little bit to get it to come out but all in all pretty easy to get out um, so yeah we're basically just gonna reverse what we did here we're gonna slide the new sensor back in and tighten up that 10 millimeter bolt and connect the, the electrical connection and that's it okay so we got the the new sensor back in and we're tightening up this bolt right now this 10 millimeter bolt the new sensor I got was actually an OEM part and it was a little more than the aftermarket parts I saw. I think $40 more, but I like to go OEM just for peace of mind. Okay, so we got that on. It feels pretty tight. Now we're going to put this electrical connection back on. And you hear the click. So that's in. So. A new sensor's in. Pretty simple. So we're gonna put the engine cover back on and that's it.